In this video, I will show you the super trend strategy with MACD on TradingView. Before we start the video, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe and give the video thumbs up. Your support means a lot to us. Similar videos will follow if you enjoy this one. For those of who haven't seen the strategy in this video before, it's a new system from recent strategy and tests. The main idea of our system is generate signals with two indicators. First is trend indicator and the second indicator is confirmation indicator. When you conduct backtest, you will see the signals this video provides. Let's start. With this system, we can determine the trend and generate buy and sell signals. First, we integrate the super trend indicator. We click the indicators tab, super trend. This one, this indicator that's written by Quant Osbilgit. I add this indicator to our chart. I should note that trading involves the risk of lose. Please consider carefully whether such a trade is suitable for you. Past performance is not indicative of future results and these contents are for educational purposes only and don't constitute investment recommendations. There are two lines in our indicator for buy and sell signal. If this line continues in green or generates buy label, as you can see here, it may signals an uptrend. If it continues in red or generates sell label, it may signals an downtrend. But to maximize the winning trades, we need to add the second indicator, that is the MACD. Since using the indicator alone may have risk, so we integrate the second indicator to filter out false signals. I click the indicators tab and write MACD. This moving average convergence divergence indicator. How this indicator works? There are two lines, MACD line and signal line and histogram in this indicator. If the blue line crosses above the orange line and the new candle forms, it may give an uptrend signal. If the blue line crosses below the orange line and a new candle forms, it may give a downtrend signal. But we adjust the settings of MACD and try to see the overall trend like this. For this, I made the settings as fast lengths 100, slow lengths 200, and signal smoothing 50. And the settings of super trend is like this ATR period 13 ATR multiplier 3.8 that's all this indicator provides additional confirmation to our signals because as you can see here there are a lot of super trend signals and we should filter out to maximize the winning signals after adjusting the settings for both indicators our system is ready now before showing the buy and sells examples if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please don't forget to subscribe and give the video Video, thumbs up please now let's discuss how to identify the best buy signal first for a buy signal we look at the first indicator super trend if this super trend indicator is green and generates buy signal and second indicator MACD confirms it it may gives an uptrend signal on the other hand for a sell signal if this super trend is red and generates sell signal it may give downtrend signal now i will show you the examples for both selling and buying signal let's start from here as you can see here the super trend line is red continues in red and the momentum of MACD decreases here we get here buy signal but MACD continues in red in less momentum after getting the buy signal I wait the switches from red to green on MACD here it happened in this candle for example let's say i take here buy position and put here i put the stop the previous low or i can put the stop below this buy label and at least we should make the risk reward ratio at least two let's look the previous signal here uptrends end 
and as you can see here the momentum of MACD decreases and there is crosses on MACD that shows us the downtrend may start here we get sell signal here actually also here the color of MACD is red if we take the position here I would place the stop the previous high or we could stop if we placed stop above this sell label but let's suppose that we place the stop loss the previous high and we make the risk reward ratio at least two let's see another signal in sequence mac the color of mac is still green so we don't accept the signal as valid signal then super trend indicator gives buy signal here and we look at the macd macd also green for example I take here buy position, put the stop previous low and make risk reward ratio at least 2. Let's see what will happen. We could also stop here. Let's see signals in a row. Here we get sell signal but MACD already green here. In this candle MACD turns from green to the red. For instance I take here sell position, the stop previous high and make risk reward ratio 2. Here MACD is red there is a downtrend here so these two sell signals may be profitable of course there is false signals as well for example here the MACD is green and we get buy signal from super trend indicator and if I take here buy position if I placed stop the previous low I could stop here here we get again buy signal I take buy position here put here place the stop the previous low and make risk reward ratio 2 to maximize the profits we may use trailing the stop loss technique set a stop loss percentage below your entry point and as the price price rises or decreases continually we can adjust and trail the stop loss this method allows us to follow the trend in summary this video provides a strategy combining the remember to conduct back tests yourself and practice responsible trading however this doesn't mean that it will always perfectly this indicator also gives false signals and you should expect this because no indicator or strategy will give you 100 guaranteed signals and no matter how accurate the indicator or strategy is or how much experience you have losing trades are always a part of trading thank you for watching this video till here